Bloomberg, according to Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Foreign Minister Wang Yi met with Chief Advisor to President of Brazil in Beijing, and they reached common understandings and issued a statement. The two sides supported a peace conference recognized by Russia and Ukraine. Is this the first time that China signs such agreement with countries on this issue? Will China sign more agreements like this? Does it mean that China will not attend the peace conference to be held in Switzerland next month? First, I want to tell you that yesterday, a member of the political bureau of the CPC Synchronity and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Wang Yi, held talks with Chief Advisor to Brazil and President Omorim. They had an in-depth exchange of views on the Ukraine crisis and reached six common understandings, which are fully embodied in the common understandings between China and Brazil on political settlement of the Ukraine crisis jointly issued by the two sides. These six common understandings reflect not just the joint position of China and Brazil, but also the widespread concerns and a genuine desire for the vast international community for promoting political settlement of the Ukraine crisis. The full-blown Ukraine crisis is now in its third year. The fighting has shown no sign of stopping and only generated more spillovers. The conflict could even for the escalate, it is widely believed that the most urgent imperative now is to cool down the situation and accumulate conditions for ceasefire. Many developing countries, including China and Brazil, have called for upholding an objective and just position on the Ukraine crisis. All of us believe that the dialogue and negotiation is the only viable way out of the crisis. All of us oppose filling the flames and hope to build up international consensus to find the most extensive common ground for restoring peace. The common understandings, though jointly initiated by China and Brazil, are named for the international community. We welcome more countries, developing and developed countries alike, to support and join in these common understandings and together play a constructive role in de-escalation and promoting peace. As for the specific questions you asked, I want to tell you that China and Brazil are major developing countries and representatives of new emerging markets. China-Brazil relations goes beyond uh, the ring of bilateral relations. We have similar positions on the Ukraine crisis and uh, has grave concerns over the escalation of the situation and are committed to the early political settlement of the crisis. We both uh, oppose the f filling the flames to the escalation. The common understandings reached between the two sides demonstrate the two uh, major countries as two uh, responsible players and made uh, contributions to the settlement of the crisis. We welcome uh, more uh, members of the international community to join us. You also asked whether this means that China will not participate in the peace conference to be held in Switzerland. You can look into the six-point common understandings uh, just released where you can find the answer to this question. The second point of the six common understandings showed that uh, the two sides, uh, both the two sides believe that all parties should uh, facilitate dialogue for the settlement of the crisis. The two sides support the proper uh, timely holding of a peace conference with the participation of both Russia and Ukraine, equal participation of all parties, and fair discussions of all peace plans.